And then they bring this idiot and he want to school us about the human right. A person who is running himself from his own land because there is a zero human right in it. That this will never happen again. And anyone, anyone who called for a ceasefire will be a terrorist sympathizer. So God... Sure, sure. You know, I will go with you. When first day Egypt attacked Israel, do you want me to show you your videos? Should I search for them? It's speaking about the victory of the Egyptian army? Six days, and then you, Egyptian, and all the Muslims, you start asking for a ceasefire. In the first day, Allah Akbar. As usual, Allah Akbar Takbir, go. Then the Israeli, they give you a screwdriver in your anus. Then what you do, you go and kiss at that time the ass of the Soviet Union to stop the war. What are the pros and cons in ceasefire? It, I don't care about the pros and cons. This is not the uh, Amazon review, my friend. Uh, the fact is that when you go for war, it is not time for ceasefire. And as long as you did not finish the mission, so what is ceasefire for? That's all. Are, are we done? No. So ceasefire for what? And always the one who asks for ceasefire is the one who is losing. If Hamas is the one who is victorious, if Hamas is advanced inside Israel right now and taking cities one after one, do you think this scumbag will ask for ceasefire? Just be honest with yourself. Do you think those who they are striking now for ceasefire everywhere in San Francisco, those scumbags, if the Hamas is the one invading cities, taking one after one, do you think anybody will go in the street and ask for ceasefire? No. It doesn't matter how many Jews die. It doesn't matter how many women raped. It doesn't matter how many children are burned alive. They will never ask for ceasefire. Ceasefire is when they are losing. In fact, that was the command in the Quran. Muhammad himself, he practiced the same tactic. He signed a ceasefire when he's weak. Until he regroup, prepare himself, getting stronger, he attack. And the enemy thought that they have peace. The Quran made it clear. You cannot ask for seas of fire unless you are not the uppermost. Everything they do is in their yellow pages book, the filthy Quran. So be not weak and ask not for peace from the enemies while you have having the upper hand. Do you see it? So when the Muslims are allowed to have to ask for peace, this peace will be temporarily. Until they have the upper hand, then they attack again. But they are forbidden to ask for peace as long they have the uppermost. See now Egypt signed peace agreement with Israel. Do you think this peace agreement will live? I assure you, I don't know when this will be broken, but I assure you, as I know everything about myself, I can see it that the war with Egypt is coming. Those are Muslims. The only way to have peace with them if your neighbors are not Muslims. In the Quran, in chapter 9, Muhammad, he signed a peace agreement with his enemies. You see the chapter here is called a Tawbah. Tawbah means uh, repent. But this is not the real name of the chapter. The real name of it is Bara'a. What Bara'a is? It is the first word here. Bara'a. What does this word mean? Freedom from all obligation of peace agreement. Kill them. He signed peace agreement with them. He regroup, he prepare his army, his stupid enemy, they are taking honeymoon, and then suddenly he send them a warning, 
you have four months either you leave the town or I'm going to slaughter you all four months after four months anyone I see here is dead he took over the city already you have four months then those people what they will do I mean they will lose uh, their houses their animals their uh, everything they convert to Islam And Muhammad, he promised he will chase them to the end of, even if they go to China. So this is what they would do with Israel. Sooner or later, the Muslim, they will say to the Israeli, Bara. And if you don't understand your enemy, that your fault, and this is your stupidity. Until now, there's a lot of donkeys, by the way, in Israel. They think they can reach peace with those Middle Eastern Muslims. You cannot. Because they are motivated by their religion, not by argument about land. This is not about a land. Only stupid people think that this is about a land. The war is religious war. Muslims versus Jews. Muslims versus Christians. Muslims versus atheists. Muslims versus Hindus. Muslims versus Buddhists. And if the Muslim kill all non-Muslims, then Muslim, they will kill Muslims because there is many Muslims. This is why I say to you, Islam is a curse. And if you don't understand this curse, that is your foolishness. So you better prepare yourself and don't go stay home and say, oh, I don't care if the Muslims now they became in control of my city. Oh, they are now, they are the mayor. Oh, now they are. No, you are in trouble. They will smuggle slowly, slowly, slowly. And then suddenly you will find yourself under their command. And always you will find, which is very weird and funny, that the one who Muslims hate most is the one who support Muslims most. To make you understand, now it's LGBTQ H, uh, which means Hamas. But those, if they go there, the Muslim will kill them. They will. Let me show you this uh, funny comedy interview. And don't tell me this is not real. I know. We know it's not real. Because I know some smart people there, they will say to me, this is not real. In fact, it's real. Even though it's like a sketch and a comedy. But this is what they do. The West is suffering from foolishness. All right. Hi everyone, we are live on YouTube with Columbia Antisemite News, where everyone is welcome, LGBTQH. H. Hamas. <laughs> yeah, I totally sim Hamas. Yeah. It's so trending right now. From the, the river, river to, to the, the sea, sea Palestine, Palestine will, will be free. free. Do you know why it's true? Mm. Because it rhymes. Oh. <laughs> Just look at all this toxic Zionist propaganda. Kidnapped in Gaza? Does this look like Gaza to you? Yeah, bro, I have no idea what Gaza looks like. And they're smiling. Do hostages smile? Sinist liars. Totally sus. Do they think we're stupid? Stupid? <coughs> I major in queer post-colonial astrology. Ew. Jews make the world dirty. Yeah. And no, I'm not anti-Semitic. No, he's I'm not. racist fluid. Exactly. And now for a little break from all this activism, we want to say hello to our BFF. Bestie freedom fighter. Abu Fatwa in Gaza. Salam alaikum. Alaikum assalam. And inshallah, Allah will kill you all infidels. Thank you so much for joining us. Love the headpiece, the all oppression chic. Very drip. Mr. Fatwa, how are you? Are you safe? Oh yes, I'm safe. I'm in a tunnel under the Gaza hospital. Oh. Above me, I have Allah and two million civilians protecting me. Community is so important these days. Do you need like humanitarian aid, food, fuel, medicine? It's okay, I have everything. I'm only hungry for rockets. Mm -hmm. As long as it's organic. Yeah. I wish I just could be there with you. You can. You can come to Gaza anytime and we will throw you from the roof, you homosexual dirt. Do you hear? 
Bro, I wanna throw me a rooftop party. They are so welcoming and inclusive. So shukran. And you are also very welcome to come here to America. We will come. First we finish with Israel. And America is next. Great! So, I guess we'll see you soon. Yes, it will be a blast. <laughs> Can't wait, it will be so multicultural. <gasps> Ya Allah, you are so stupid. Thank you so much, Abu. We love you. I won't even bother killing you. It's a waste <laughs> of bullets. <laughs> Good vibes only. Ah, it's better you just kill yourself. <laughs> okay, bye. Die. From, From the, the river, river to, to the, the sea, sea, Palestine will, will be just free. free. Yeah, that sounds better. It is better. <laughs> even though it's a comedy, but it represents really the stupidity of those people in the West. It's, it's, this is exactly, he, they, they said, they, he said to them, die, they said to him, bye. Die, bye. We will throw you from the roof. Oh, they will throw me a party in the roof. Thank you. Very welcoming, very exclusive. They changed the meaning of everything. If it's us, the Christians, who say we will throw them from the top of the reef, the roof, imagine what they would do. As long as a uh, Muslim says that, it's, uh, you know, I mean, those are people, they are uh, under stress. They are under stress, we need to understand. He is uh, so thirsty for rocket, as long as it's organic, no problem. It's our problem, organic, you know. Uh, <laughs> What about the Israeli will build the third temple? You know, I find it very funny. People are really busy about the third temple. I mean, those people, they are not even able to take the temple first. Shouldn't you take the ground first? Don't you see they are afraid even to offend them? They are very much politically correct. As long as you have people who they are politically correct, you will never build the temple and you will never even build the house. Give me a break, Mr. Temple. This is what you are worried about now? You can build a temple when you will have a man, he is a real leader, and he is a dictator, not democratic. He say, you know what, this is our temple, you like it, like it, we have 40 to 24 hours to evacuate. You don't, we will evacuate you. But when this man will come? Netanyahu, no. The left, no. What you have now in Israel are a bunch of potatoes. They have a very massive, powerful army, but they don't have any real leader. In order to do that, you have to have a man who is a leader, not a politician. You see, Netanyahu now he want to seize fire for 50, 50 hostages. If he is, if he have little intelligence, he should accept only if we release either all or none. What fifty four? What you did? Still, you have two hundred. What you have done, I mean, is, is that a victory? And did you ask yourself what, what Hamas will win? Why they are desperate to get four days? Which is not a supposed, not a ceasefire, like, you know, a howl. But what, is, what does that mean? So he did nothing. I mean, they are not real men. They are not real leaders. They are just to win politics. Netanyahu trying to make himself look better after what happened. Okay, I will free 50. But you have 200. He should not allow to free any terrorist unless you free all. Why he accept even 50s for 150? What about we say 150 for 150? Stupid. I support Israel, but I don't support Netanyahu. However, in time of war, if I am an Israeli, I will support him because it's war. In wartime, we have to be united against the enemy. And even after the war, by the way, we should be united, but we should choose a better prime minister. Someone is a smart, strong, and not hypocrite, and not after money. <laughs> 